morning. Good morning. We are doing our daily walk around. We're doing it early because today especially it's going to be about 108 degrees I believe. So we've got a scorcher coming today. We're on the final week of our camp post position here in, in uh, Northern California. Uh, we can't believe how quick it's gone but we're excited to get on the road and start the journey back to Florida. Yeah it's just gone amazingly quick and we thought it was a really good opportunity to uh, show you guys what we've been doing here as camp hosts. It's not your typical camp host position. Most seems to be RV parks and state parks. This is a private campground. It's for rafters only. I think we mentioned we work for a whitewater rafting company. It's predominantly tent camping. I would say 99% of people that come here are in tents or they rent the cabin tents that are here. And our duties start on a Wednesday morning, which is where we are now. Mondays and Tuesdays, everyone seems to have off here because it's a very quiet time of the week. Well, not only that, they don't release the water on the river, so uh, it's very difficult to do any rafting when the water's way down. So in brief, we work the evening shift, which is when the majority of guests check in. So we work from 5 until about 10, 10.30, and the main part of the job is greeting the guests, checking them in, showing them to their site and ensuring you know that they're happy with everything look at that view if you're camping here this is what you wake up to because most of the sites are near the water it's just a couple of them that you're not directly on it but it's uh makes a massive difference in the temperature because i'd say about eight seven thirty eight o'clock at night you can walk down from our camp host position and i would say it's got to be at least a good five to ten degrees cooler down here but uh, the water's, the river's really low today because they do not release on Wednesdays. And so, yeah, it's pretty low. The other part of our job is in the a.m. before it gets too hot, we do the restrooms and the reception area just to make sure it's clean for the guests and uh, well stocked. Now, this is another thing we come across. Every morning we find the trash overturned. I, being from the south, thought it was coons, but come to find out there's a couple of skunks here. <laughs> and about two weeks after we first got in, I kept waking up to this strong skunk smell and evidently that's when we found out they've named one of them Rosie and apparently she was marking around our RV. I don't know if that's because of Daisy just to make sure that she knew that was her territory I don't know but I kept waking Paul up saying do you smell that and uh, I couldn't smell anything. Yeah his sense of smell is not very no, good. It's pretty bad. But <laughs> mine is ridiculously good. So yeah, that was pretty funny. But yeah, every day when we get out and do the walk, we just have to pick up the barrels and whatever trash they may have pulled out. It's not a nice part of the job, but... No, not at all. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you the site. Uh, I know we've showed this in another video, but this is something we're just pulling together so we can show the whole camp hosting experience. That is the Spanish Moss cabin tent. And this area is the Spanish Moss camping area. And this is the Meadows cabin. This is what we call the Sandy Oaks camping area. We have a volleyball court. We have horseshoes over there. And we also have cornhole. This is very much the largest area. There's uh, a camping nook over there, camping nook there, this whole area. This is for big groups. We tend to put the school groups, uh, scout groups, and uh, girl guide groups. It's great because it's a little bit out of the rest of the camp, so it doesn't disturb anyone. Each area has its own fire pit, but since we've been here, there's been a fire ban, so no one can use them apart from charcoal. This is the lower section of the Sandy Oaks campsite, uh, both one and two. We can put larger groups. What we do clearly is allocate several of the camping areas in to one group. This is the South Fork of the American River. And we go swimming in here at least two or three times a day. This is the beach area. 
where we get access to the river to go swimming. And this is the other access point. And this is the outdoor kitchen where those that have booked meals get breakfast and their evening meal. And here comes Gina with Daisy. Daisy loves riding on that car. So there you go, that's about it for the campsite. It is really beautiful. And this is where the uh, guests check in. This is both the camping guests and also the people that arrive for uh, the day trip rafting. And there are a lot of day trip rafters. It gets very busy here. We can have up to 200 people uh, out on the water at any one time. So we are gonna get some breakfast now and we'll be back with you in a minute or two. So this is the other part of our job. At the beginning of the week, which I've mentioned is a Wednesday here, uh, we get these booking sheets for all the rafting trips and the people that have booked the camping. And it's our job to work out um, the campsite and where everyone's gonna go. Ready to do the board? Yep. So the first people we've got are coming in today. It's a group of 14. They're only staying one night and they're doing the week, middle four weekday Monday camp. I really wish we were there. Well, one, very one. That one. No breakfast. No breakfast. And 7am check in. Then we have a group of nine. They're checking in on the first. The South Fork two day package. So they're staying two nights. First day, which is the second, they're going to be doing breakfast at 8. And their rafting trip check in is 10 a.m., 6.20 breakfast, 7 a.m. check in, and they're doing the middle. Okay. Okay, so that's done. We now need to go right up the board. And here's Gina doing her other job. She makes beautiful handmade journals. Hi. <laughs> yes, um, the journal making is really just a small part of it. It's obviously the filming and the editing. So it's, it's quite time consuming. And it's very difficult in such a small space, but we make it work. And not easy with me around either, but she really does do fabulous work. And we'll put a link to her site in the description. So as you just saw, when Gina's working, she really wants me out from under her feet. And it works out really well because I get offered overtime here. And that is driving the equipment vans. That's taking the rafts and the, the equipment, the oars, the helmets, etc., to the various launch locations on the uh, on the river, and also picking the equipment up as well as the guides. So that's a really nice little bit of overtime. This is a very very good gig. We've been invited back, which is lovely, and we will more than likely accept and be here again next year. This is the little cart they gave us, top of the line as you can see. We've modified it with our little umbrella to keep the sun off. There she goes. Now it might actually go. Yes! That's what it's supposed to do. Uh, so now is the not so nice part of what we do 
It's our morning routine of doing the bathrooms. So let's get started. <laughs> Look at where we get to go swimming every day. Hello! 